morning folks, this is Naim Asim, Chief Market Analyst at Eritrade, and welcome to our daily technical analysis video. Folks, Dow plunged well over 1800 points yesterday, and I think it is imperative for us to have a look at the price action and then see where do we go from here. But before we do that, as always, it is important to go through this line of disclaimers and risk warnings. So anything that we discuss in this particular video cannot be perceived as an advice. If you are seeking for one, please do consider consulting with your own financial advisors. Now, let me pull out the MT4 platform. This can be downloaded from our website, evertrade.com. As always, I am going to look at the price action from its weekly time frame first. So we have the Dow Jones chart and then here it comes our weekly uh, weekly time frame. So this is your 200 week moving average and then followed by your 100 week moving average and then you have your 50 week moving average. Now if you remember from our analysis yesterday, when, they, when we said that the Dow is really falling like a rock, we talked about some few important, uh, important things over here. What we talked about was, let me move these uh, these guys because you really don't have to worry about the, for the, for them right now. I think they're just adding a little bit of a, too much of a noise. And I'm going to get rid of this uh, object as well. So... Folks, this is what we are really looking at. So this is our last week. This is our the current week. Now, first of all, we have made a higher high as compared to the last week. But at the same time, we have also made a lower low as compared to the last week. So the range, the trading range was well above the trading week of last week. So that just shows that there's an enormous amount of volatility still here in the market. But the fact is that we are trading below the two important moving averages and we have dropped below these two important moving averages which are your 50 and 100 day and this represents a very bearish uh, bearish uh, the, the, this presents a very bearish signal because the price really needs to stay above at least its 100 week moving average and if it crosses above the uh, 50 week moving average it is even better now what we, what we were discussing yesterday was that perhaps we will have a retest of a 50 week but that didn't happen and then there was an the opportunity of a retest of the 100 uh, week moving average that didn't happen and then we th there was this possibility of a price testing the 20 week moving average or from uh, with respect to its uh, uh, Bollinger Band and that is where we are heading but more importantly what we still have on the table is the this 200 week moving an average so that just really that is really keeping the um, hopes alive with respect to bulls and as long as we stay above this 200 week moving average we are still somewhat safe now with respect to these uh, uh, these lines these support zone obviously all of these ones they got completely violated yesterday so we are going to delete them and we're going to readjust them now and the the, the more important thing is folks that it is all about damage control it is all about having those stop losses in in place because if you don't then the you know it is likely that the damage is going to be much much more significant now when we switch the time frame we go into a daily time frame first of all what we notice is that the price is trading below the 200 day moving average now we can move these tickets over here to mention them and then we have the price which is trading above the 100 and of course above the 150 day moving average of course we had the signal when the 50 crossed above the 100 day moving average and that was a bullish sign but that bullish sign is only going to remain in place if the price continue to stay above this so if the price doesn't uh, fall below the 50 day moving average on a daily time frame we are still in very much in clear and then it is going to further strengthen the case from our weekly time frame that what we see is that you know that where our 200 week moving average because our 200 week moving average is trading let's say in around 2400 and our this one is trading just above our our 200 is also trade uh, our 100 days also trading above that so this area of support in other words so this area of support is really, really important because this is where our 100 week, uh, our 200 week moving average is, and this is also where our 50 and 
100 day moving averages are as well. So let's see how the price performs. For the time being, the immediate resistance can be your 20 uh, day moving average on your weekly time frame. That comes from your Bollinger Band. And the next one is going to be your 200 day moving average. So let's see how the price really evolves from here. But remember, I think there's there is a there is a resistance coming, which is right over here, because from 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 this point and which is very much in line with your uh, 20 day moving average. So let's see if the price can really cross above this point or not. That's all for today. Have a great weekend and see you guys next week.